Hey everybody, we're going to do an update real quick. So, um, sorry it's been about two and a half weeks since I've done an update. Family, holidays, work, everything's been crazy. So what we're going to talk about is the air bike spars that I've made. And they have consumed every extra minute of my time I've had. I haven't done anything but work on these spars because you just got to get your head into what you're doing here. But let's jump into what we did. So, um, the aircraft... Um, manual for or the build manual for the air bike states that you can build the spar like caps out of spruce or douglas fir so i was able to find some douglas fir and um there's yellow pine in this and then there's the eighth inch and 16th inch birch from aircraft spruce and specialties that make up the shear web i use a t88 structural adhesive um, and I know I've made videos about this before, but the longer it takes your glue to dry or cure, the stronger the joint normally is, okay? And um, do your own research on this, okay? But, um, you know, it takes this epoxy, you got about an hour to work with it, and then, and I, I made a mistake. In the past video, I said it takes a day to dry, 24 hours, and it takes 72 hours to totally cure. I shouldn't say dry, but cure. Hopefully you're seeing some pictures over here of some of the spar stuff. And um, clamping pressures, I know I've gotten into a big heated debate with people about that. Um, if it's aluminum to aluminum, yes, you can over, um, you can starve the joint by creating too much pressure that you squirt out all the epoxy. Most woods that I've found with my testing, um, unless you get ridiculously stupid where you start crushing the wood, it's hard to um, get the, uh, uh, you know, the pressure too high. I did 3D print some really neat little um, clamps that help hold things down to my table I built. So let's go through just some real basics real quick. The table is made out of quarter inch plywood. I used a three quarter inch by one inch piece running down the middle. Used my laser to get that straight. I then stripped um, uh, on my table saw a couple of uh, three quarter by three quarter inch pieces. Got the laser, set them at the width of each spar height. Uh, big spar on this side, small spar on this side. Or the front spar and rear spar, one's taller than the other. And uh, you just gotta really take your time, people, because the drawings, they're not confusing if you really know your drawings, but if you assume anything, you could build these spars wrong. The, I call this the open face of the spar right here, okay? This is the open face. Um, the side you're looking at is the open face, and I call this the closed face. So on the air bike, the open face face each other or the center of the wing. It's very easy when you're building this that you could build basically two left spars or um, have the, the top and bottom orientation backwards. So really take your time to know your drawings. Really take your time to lay everything out. Bench flight in your mind. Say, okay, this is the right spar front one this is the right spar rear one are they facing each other and is the bottom bottom and is the top top um uh clamping you can see hopefully in some of the video over here in pictures how i clamped everything up and it worked beautiful um they do take some meticulous time okay you got to really take your time now i did since um i've designed a lot of wings for rc i did take some three thousand pound carbon fiber toe and I laminated it between my cap strip, uh, the top and bottom of the spar, and the shear webbing. So that will give me a little bit more strength, um, though th I don't think these wings need much strength. But uh, just my pure paranoia and the fact that technology changes, I added some carbon fiber. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, everybody. Um, I did strip every bit of the wood for this. I got so upset after ordering wood from aircraft spruce for my ribs where all the wood sizes were different and I'm not knocking aircraft spruce I know on the quarter by quarter inch they might not take their time like they would the larger stuff but I just spruce is so expensive right now I decided to strip my own wood so I got my table saw got a really good blade of at least um, 80 teeth I had 80 teeth and um, just took my time and basically everything is three quarter inch high in the spar okay um, but it's got different widths. So there's quarter, half, uh, five eighths, three quarter by three quarter, and I think it's three quarter by one and a quarter. And there's a bill of material that comes with the manual for the air bike. So if you cut that bill of material, you'll be fine. So uh, that's it for this update, everybody. The next thing is I'm going to build the table um, tomorrow. 
that I'll assemble the wing on and we can actually start sliding some ribs on this thing and uh, get it going. Oh, one of the most critical cuts of this, and I'm getting ready to do it this afternoon. Um, the front and rear spar has a taper. So the front spar has a taper cut across the top of it to conform to the airfoil, the leading edge airfoil, or actually the leading edge, not the airfoil. The rear one conforms to the, the, the shape of the airfoil coming down the back of the wing. They're 10 and a half degrees, I believe, cuts. So once you're done with all of this, you could ruin it all by putting on your table saw and making it cut on the wrong side or the, the, just doing it. If you do it wrong, you've ruined everything you've done. So be meticulous. Think about it a thousand times. I have marked, double marked, triple marked my cuts. I've experimented by running some pieces through the table saw and measuring them to make sure the taper is exactly 10 and a half degrees. So um, as long as everything goes smooth, I take my time. The, there'll be four cuts on these spars and then they'll be ready to assemble the wing. So I hope you love this video, everybody. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, click the little thing so you get my updates. And um, the next update will probably be once I've got the table done for assembling the wing and we'll start to lay out everything and we'll get all giddy and excited that this is actually becoming a wing. Timeline wise, I still think by May I'll be test flying this plane. I think I'll have the wings done by March 1st, ready to cover. Uh, maybe the middle of February and um, covering and paint and the propeller is all I've got left to, buy, left to buy for this airplane. I own everything else. So rock on everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic holiday and uh, talk to you soon. Take care.